Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, 4.03 on, uh, God, what is it? Thursday. Yeah. Um, not a, again, not a whole hell of a whole lot. Been going over, be honest with you, been going over um, fuel routings. And, uh, you know, uh, for a 90-year-old company, I've never seen, we don't have real positive good routings in place and what kind of fuel routings we have hadn't quite been updated so we're in the middle of working on fuel routings um looks like it hadn't been updated since probably 2019 2018 uh from what everything we see so we're in the middle of working on some updates and there's going to be some uh, a new routing processes on fuel routing sent out to everybody and uh and obviously that that helps us all it helps uh, uh our, our pricing is being updated which is, is good uh, on uh, you know, our discount pricing. So we need to ensure that we fuel in these locations so the company can get the best benefit and the best price, especially in this market. Um, I tell you, again, this market is really, really rough. I see a carrier just filed bankruptcy in, Jack, in Jacksonville, Florida, and another one, obviously, uh, I think, uh, are, uh, in Dallas, Texas. So. You know, and it's it's hurting the market badly. I mean, we we've we've uh, I'm sure some of you have hauled and seen, but we've been parking trailers. Um, you know, darts. Dart has been sitting at God, I don't even know what maybe three to one, who whatever. Four, no, excuse me, five to one trailer ratio, and it just that's that's just not what you do. I mean, when I ran my company's two point eight to one. If you needed, uh, if we needed excess, then obviously we went out and rented. Obviously, the market is demanded, but if you look at some of your top premier carriers that make solid good money, it's it's no more than a three to one. So, we need to be we're turning in some trailers. So uh, that's uh, that's something that we've been doing. So we're parking a lot of trailers. The problem is though, with these uh, big major uh, uh, closures of trucking companies, this market is absolutely flooded with trailers. So uh, we are not going. We're going to hold up. Uh, until we can get some decent buys, but uh, we are, and I probably you've been asked to pull some if you have to, uh, to some of these drop yards to get them off. And when we get them pulled off, I need I, we do not need to pull them. And when they get part, they're supposed to be deadlined uh, and uh, tagged, and they are deadlined for sale, and we don't need to pull them. So please, when you're in Lancaster, when you're in Egan, when you're in Bolingbrook or uh, wherever, please don't pull these trailers that we're trying to get get set to sell. Um, we need to to get these trailers out of this system. We need to get this company back down to where it needs to be, uh, so it can be a, a profitable operation. And that's what we're that's what we're really working on right now. So just hang in there. Um, we're we're doing pretty. You know, we're we're getting better. We. In the middle, I've been working on a Home Depot bids. Um, I, I'm going to tell you what does bother me uh, a little bit as we, we're looking at some Home Depot bids, and where there are a lot of lanes out there. This, this, we've got a lot of incumbent lanes that we've been running, and there's a lot of other opportunity, and we've got to go after that opportunity. And some of the opportunity, I've been told, well, it doesn't work. It's not real good. We don't. It doesn't doesn't match up for when we get empty to when we get loaded. We've got to make these things work. You cannot afford, and uh, and I'll just tell you, I just put out an email here to all these to the management team. There ain't nobody going to approve a, load, a run over 250 miles deadhead unless it's approved by myself, Stephanie, or Rich. It's going to be the, the us three. The top three are going to be the ones to approve it. We're not going to continue to run 700 miles or 650 miles out at a really good rate at two something a mile and then turn around and dead head back whatever percentage of the time because every time you do you're going to 226 a mile and you're down to a dollar or whatever that is divide that by two and it comes up to dollar what whatever 15 whatever it may be 13 uh, whatever and your cost per mile in in the market the market cost per mile in the industry today is 220 so we ain't running right now uh, at uh, at 220 a mile right across the board we're not there. We're, we're actually below $2 a mile. Most of the cares in this, that's why these cares are shutting their doors. The rates have dropped dramatically and it's very, very, very tough. So I know some of you have been on some runs that kind of 
maybe work perfectly and you love it and I don't blame you I'd have loved it too uh turning and burning and just rocking and rolling so but if we can't make money we ain't gonna be in business and if we ain't gonna be in business then obviously you know people are gonna be without jobs so we've got to you know we've just got to shore up some things and that's what we're doing so we're going after heavy some lanes with uh, Home Depot and uh and others we've been offered uh, a, a, a lot of other lanes coming out of FedEx. We've been offered some uh, good business out of a, a couple other companies and stuff that we're really pushing forward and doing. So we're starting to see the fruits of the labor get better, but we just got to get better and, uh, and you know, we got to watch our costs. Like I said, fuel costs. We got to fill the right places when we got to cut our deadhead miles down. Uh, and, and we've got to get utilization and you, you know, as a driver, you need to have the opportunity to run 2,500 miles plus a week. You've got to, this company needs that. We've got to do it. So that's kind of where we are. Um, that's, I guess about it. Uh, other than that, y'all have a good day. I love y'all and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.